Hey everybody, welcome on my YouTube channel about beekeeping. And today uh, we're gonna try to improve uh, Sundance pollen trap uh, installing inside the plastic pollen strips instead of wire mesh. Uh, I don't really like wire mesh because bees they're not gonna they don't go through fast as as they go through through the plastic. So all these plastic strips I bought on AliExpress for about uh, three bucks a set. I believe it's five strips in a set, so not very expensive. And I've seen a lot of Russian beekeepers. Uh, they're making kind of same pollen traps as Sundance pollen trap, and they're using that stuff, and their their results are just amazing. So I'm gonna show you very quick how to install this inside, and I guess we're gonna see after a couple of days how good it's gonna work. So enjoy. So first, you're gonna remove that plastic, that piece of plywood. Then you're gonna hit the wire mesh. I already removed the top layer of wire mesh. Like you can see, one big got stuck here from last time. That's why I don't really like the wire mesh. So we're gonna the second layer of wire mesh. It's hard to remove because you have to take a lot of parts off, and I don't, I don't wanna really do it. So I'm gonna just cut it off around the edges and then I'm gonna just slide this pieces just right between plywood and old wire mesh all right guys it's over next what we're gonna do we're gonna cut off the plastic wood plastic strips just just enough to fit in here so they're gonna go between wire mesh and plywood just like that So all right guys, it's almost over. Everything else what you have to do, you just have to close this little space with piece of plywood. So basically it's 11 inches uh, and seven inches. Right, that's it, it's perfect. Also, what you have to do, you have to put a little piece of wood, and a little strip right here and staple all these plastic pieces into the wood because they're kind of soft, they can bend, if they're gonna bend, the bees, bees just are gonna pass through through the bigger hole and they're not gonna lose any pollen. All right guys, it's already over, everything is installed, I put four strips on the front, one strip on the back, so everything what I have left, I just have to put back that little cover, and then I just have to install the pollen trap onto, onto my hive. Alright guys, the pollen trap is installed, so I'm gonna come back tonight and I, I will show you if it's gonna work or not. Alright guys, I guess it's the most exciting time, it's evening time, and today is fifth day since I started collecting pollen, after I improved my pollen traps, and as you can see, the result is much better than I was getting with this regular uh, wire mesh. So there is hive one, hive number two, and you can see the different 
the hive number one is a little bit weaker probably the weakest hive out of the, all three but the result, the result is a lot better than it used to be with regular wire mesh and you can see the different the weakest hive I don't know why but it goes for two completely different flowers maybe I don't know maybe they don't go too far or maybe they can fly a lot farther but yeah it's not bad I guess I never been getting these results with wire mesh so I don't know here is about one and a half pound of bee pollen per day not bad In the second hive a little bit more and one more hive it should be the strongest one Yeah. That's a bunch of pawns.